Welcome back to SK Cars 2.0. Today, we're looking at something truly extraordinary, the 2025 HAL Tejas MK2. Now, while it's not a car in the traditional sense, this incredible machine deserves a full review because of its groundbreaking design, next-generation performance, and the technological leap it represents. The Tejas MK2 is India's answer to modern air combat, a multi-role fighter jet that combines speed, agility, and cutting-edge avionics into one sleek and deadly package. In this video, we'll break down everything about its exterior design, cockpit or interior technology, its mind-blowing performance, and the estimated pricing that makes it one of the most fascinating aircraft in its class. Starting with the exterior, the 2025 HAL Tejas MK2 is a complete redesign over its predecessor. At first glance, you notice how much more mature and aggressive it looks. The new airframe is longer, measuring about 14.6 meters compared to the earlier MK1A, giving it a more balanced and proportionate stance. This extra length isn't just for looks, it allows engineers to fit more internal fuel, advanced electronics, and additional weapon systems. The fuselage now appears sleeker, with smoother lines that optimize aerodynamics while reducing radar cross-section for improved stealth capability. The Tejas MK2 structure is built extensively with carbon fiber composites, making up over 60% of its surface area. These advanced materials cut down weight while boosting durability and reducing maintenance requirements. The design also incorporates diverterless supersonic intakes, which manage airflow efficiently and minimize radar visibility, a feature found in some of the world's top-tier fighters. The slightly larger delta wing gives it improved stability and control at high speeds, and the single vertical tail maintains its signature Tejas silhouette. The nose section is slightly elongated to accommodate a more powerful radar system, while the canopy is wider, offering the pilot a panoramic view, an essential advantage during combat or complex maneuvers. The Tejas MK2 also includes 11 hardpoints, compared to 8 on the earlier model, giving it an enhanced payload capacity of around 6.5 tons. That means it can carry a wide range of weapons, from air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles to guided bombs, fuel tanks, and even electronic warfare pods. The landing gear has been reinforced for better stability during high-speed takeoffs and landings, and the overall stance of the aircraft feels far more confident and refined. The visual impression of the Tejas MK2 is that of a futuristic, compact, and highly capable multi-role fighter, one that looks ready for any mission. Every contour of the body is aerodynamically functional, with minimal drag and maximum lift efficiency. It's clear that HAL has taken inspiration from advanced fighters while maintaining its own design philosophy. The Tejas MK2's stealth features, such as radar-absorbent coatings and smoother panel seams, push it closer to 4.5 generation fighter standards. Now, stepping inside the cockpit, or what we can call the interior, is where the Tejas MK2 really shines in terms of modernization. The aircraft features a completely redesigned glass cockpit that rivals even the best in the world. The pilot is greeted by a single large area display, which replaces multiple smaller screens from earlier versions. This wide touchscreen interface integrates flight data, radar information, navigation, and weapon systems all in one easy-to-read setup. The interface is fully customizable, meaning the pilot can prioritize and organize the information based on mission type. The controls follow the HOTAS layout, hands-on throttle and stick, which means the pilot can manage most systems. Without moving their hands away from the controls, ensuring maximum focus during flight. There's also a next-generation helmet-mounted display system, giving the pilot the ability to lock onto targets simply by looking at them. The display projects vital information directly onto the helmet visor, allowing the pilot to engage multiple targets rapidly. The heads-up display is brighter and clearer, with improved visibility under varying light conditions. All switches and controls inside are ergonomically designed for ease of access, minimizing distractions. The cockpit's interior lighting is adaptive and can automatically adjust depending on external conditions. It's built for comfort during long missions, with better seat ergonomics and improved air conditioning systems. The Tejas MK2 also features an onboard oxygen generation system, eliminating the need for traditional oxygen cylinders, which adds both convenience and safety. Moving to performance, this is where the Tejas MK2 shows its true power. 
At its heart lies the General Electric F414GE in six turbofan engine, a massive upgrade from the older F404 engine. This powerhouse produces 98 kilonewtons of thrust, allowing the aircraft to reach speeds of over Mach 1.8, nearly twice the speed of sound. The increased thrust gives it better climb rates, faster acceleration, and improved payload capacity. With internal fuel tanks and external drop tanks, the Tejas MK2 can now fly much farther, boasting a combat range of about 1,000 km and a ferry range of nearly 3,000 km. The addition of mid-air refueling capability further extends its operational endurance, making it suitable for long-distance missions. Its fly-by-wire control system has been fine-tuned for precision, ensuring smooth handling at both low and high speeds. The agility of the aircraft is one of its most impressive traits, capable of tight maneuvers that rival some of the best fighter jets in its class. The aircraft's avionics suite is equally advanced. It features the indigenous Utam AESA radar, which can track multiple targets simultaneously with high accuracy. The radar is paired with an infrared search and track system and an advanced electronic warfare suite, providing superior detection and defense capabilities. These systems allow the Tejas MK2 to operate effectively even in electronically contested environments. Weapons-wise, the Tejas MK2 is compatible with a wide range of Indian and international weapon systems. It can carry beyond visual range missiles like the Astra, as well as precision-guided bombs, anti-ship missiles, and air-to-ground munitions. The flexibility in weapons integration